Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 17 Hands-On Science Experiment, which is number 99 in your Being Please Guide, page 55, Testing for Starch. This is what we're going to talk about today. Um, so this one is pretty straightforward. You're going to have different test samples. Um, the Being Cleaves Guide suggests notebook paper, cheese, bread, cracker, sugar, and an apple slice. So you can try some of these out ahead of time, see if some work better than others. Um, do t different types of apples or, or bread work better than others. Um, and you'll need some iodine and an eyedropper. And this will be a tutor demonstration or have the, the adults and parents help. Um, so you're going to have a baking sheet with your different samples and the the tutor or parent will um, use the eyedropper to put drops of iodine on the different samples and you want to see if you see a change and you'll notice so um, some good questions to ask um, before you start or just review um, some of the things that we talked about for our last week's experiment was um, how do scientists test the different properties of elements? So review your periodic table. These are all elements, different types of atoms, and they are grouped. They're not alphabetical, but they are grouped by their properties. So the way that they react is similar. So that may be either by their boiling point or um, freezing point, um, how they react to other elements or molecules. Um, just how they're, they're similar in some way if they're grouped together, if they're next to each other. And so one of the ways that scientists um, figure out those properties is they do experiments and they test. And so you just review what is an, an element or an atom um, what's a molecule? A molecule is two atoms, two or more atoms combined together. They could be the same type of element or they could be different elements. We talked about what a mixture and a solution and a compound were last week. So a mixture, remember, is like pebbles and sand and you mix those together and you have a mixture of pebbles and sand. They are not changed in any way. They're just combined together, um, just grouped together. A solution is something like mixing salt into water. You can stir it together and form a solution and it looks like one thing, but you could still separate out those individual pieces. Like you could boil the water off and you would have um, salt left in the pan and you would have water vapor. So a solution is something that you could still separate those individual pieces. Um, and when we did the experiment with the baking soda and the vinegar, we had an example of a chemical compound. So that's when you combine two elements or two molecules, two molecules, and they will break apart and combine in a different way to make something completely new. So you couldn't go backwards. You couldn't reverse and get your original ingredients. Think about like baking a cake. Once you put the eggs in the flour and the oil or butter and you bake it and you mix it all together and you bake it, you can't say, okay, I'm going to take the eggs out of that cake now. It's already combined and changed into something new. So that's an, uh, a good example. So the experiment we're doing today is we're just testing the different properties of matter. Um, each element on the periodic table has specific properties that make it identifiable. Um, Nicole Lame has some good talking points here about um, about the things in our experiment today. So starch molecules, things that make up starches, the molecules that make up starches, are known as, are, are known to have a chemical reaction with iodine. So they have done enough tests and experiments to know that, hey, this is something that happens when these two things can combine, when these two things are combined. And so um, if you wanna see if a substance you have has a starch in it you can do this experiment and with the iodine and it will have the same reaction as something else with starch in it so it's a good test so you'll notice that when you put the iodine on 
the samples that have starch in them that will turn a dark purple color. Um, things that don't have starch in them will just stay that brown color of the iodine. And so that's basically the experiment for today. We're just talking about the properties of elements, the properties of molecules, and what scientists do to determine the properties or to test to see if this substance is like this substance in some way, if they react the same way. So there's all kinds of experiments that they do. Um, you can try getting it really cold and freezing it. Does this substance freeze at around the same temperature as this one or are they very different? If so, then we might put those things in a different part of the periodic table. If we find that, you know, these three substances freeze at about the same rate, we at the same temperature, we might group them together. And so um, there's a method to the periodic table and that's just uh, a way of understanding um, how that's set up and how we can better understand God's creation. And um, so it's just when we learn about these different properties and we learn how to predict them and it's just a sign that it just points to God of how he's a God of order and how he created um, our world with things that follow certain laws and how it just helps us understand our creator better when we study his creation. So have fun with this one. You can try some different samples um, and just see how it goes and what the students think about that and have fun. So I'll see you guys soon.